When Shams went on first take for the first time, he provided Stephen A with some breaking news. Uh, but, but I have to say, this is my first time on your show. I do have news for you to start my segment, my first take career. I have news okay. for you. 15-year NBA veteran Danny Green tells me that he is retiring from basketball. The retiring three-time champion is best remembered for his time with the San Antonio Spurs, where he won a championship and all defensive honors. And his former head coach, Greg Popovich, shared some kind words after finding out that Danny Green has retired. Yeah, I haven't. I just found that out this afternoon. Somebody told me, so I got to give him a call. He helped us win championships, and he's a sweet man. He he worked for it. You know, he failed a couple of times uh, here and elsewhere, and he just stuck with it. Showed persistence, kind of like the saying we have in the locker room. You know, on that 101st blow, uh, it happened for him, and uh, he had a great career from then on. So, this special guy. Green finished his time with the Spurs, averaging nine points, four rebounds, two assists, and one steals per game, while shooting 42% from the field and 40% from three. However, after 15 seasons in the association, Green knew it was time to hang him up. I'm officially moving on from the game of basketball in the NBA. Um, you know, it's just been it's been a great run. You know, to sell it to me, um, I'm very proud to be able to walk away from the game. I'm at peace with it. I wasn't at first, but I think it was one of those things. Once I turned 37, the body started reacting a little differently. And uh, the mind was also, you know, I'm going to say tired or exhausted, but just, uh, you know, stepping is starting to, you know, lose its passion, lose its, you know, the, the same hunger that I had, you know, when I was in it. When you're away from the game for a year, I hadn't played in a year, trying to play pickup games, trying to, you know, I guess show teams that I can move, you know, show that I'm able to do this or do, do that. Uh, I felt like I was overextending uh, myself, which you should when you love a game or you're trying to get a job. But to me, it was like, you know, I, I don't think I have that much left to prove, you know, in that space to where I need to kill my body. And, you know, my body was letting me know I was getting little calf strains here and there. But also, you know, when you get older, teams ain't calling as much. You know, unfortunately, you know, my, my service, my services were no longer sought after as they were once uh, when I was younger. Uh, so, yeah, um, it's been a hell of a ride. So, yeah, I could step away from this game, you know, very proudly with my uh, held my head held high and, uh, you know, moving on to the next thing. And uh, I'm excited for the next chapter, the next journey. Green's crowning moment with the Spurs came during the 2014 finals against the Miami Heat where his shooting and defense helped the Spurs secure their fifth title against the Heatles. Despite injuries towards the end of his career, Green's impact on the game remained significant as a model for aspiring role players in the NBA. All right, guys, let me know your favorite Danny Green moment in the comment section below. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. That really helps this video out. If you like this type of content, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. He helped us win championships.